Greetings, fellow humans, and welcome to the book wormhole. First of all, congratulations for making it through the past year. If it was anything like my year, it's really hard. And I think this is like the first year ever that I've actually been really happy to see the year come to an end. But I also had like a really good reading year this past year. So yeah, I'm kind of excited for this uh, end of the year wrap up to be able to celebrate like the best parts of my past year. Some new things that happened this year that were really cool was I was a judge for the SCKA awards. That was so fun. And I was introduced to so many books that otherwise weren't, wouldn't have been on my radar. In fact, two of the books on my top 10 list um, were nominees that I read specifically for their awards. I started working as an editor at Android Press. That was such a big uh, step in my career to go from being a freelance editor to like actually working with a publication. And I'm so excited for all of the new stuff that's gonna come out through Android Press next year. I also went to my first ever sci-fi convention which was so much fun. I absolutely ended up finding my people. I also got to meet up with fellow sci-fi booktuber Words in Time. I will show the picture we took together here, which was really cool. That's the first time I've ever met up with another booktuber. I also finally tried the Libby app, which is a free app that you can use on your phone and then you put in your library card and you can take out ebooks and audiobooks through the app. I did a lot of audiobooks this year, which honestly contributed to how many books I read. <laughs> so I honestly highly recommend people check that out. So like my video last year, I'm going to list some of my reading stats and talk about reading goals for next year. Unlike last year, I'm not going to talk about my top reads in this video. Um, in the past, I would choose three books that I thought were my favorite reads of the year. Uh, initially, I chose three because my first year of booktube, I only read a little over 30 books. So to do a top 10 felt unfair because that would be literally a third of what I read that year. Last year, I read a little over 50 books and I did the top three again, but I also have some regrets about titles I didn't talk about as my favorite reads that year. So for this year, because I read even more, uh, I think I want to do a top 10 reads and I'm going to do that in a separate video. I also want to talk about the goals I mentioned in my end of the year video last year and see how I did with them. And then also similar to how I did my end of the year wrap up last year, I'm going to finish this video with a slideshow of all my reads from the past year because I really like doing that. I don't know if anyone liked watching it, but sometimes I gotta do stuff for me on this channel. So first off, did I meet my goals for last year? So this year I wanted to read 75 books and I did meet my goal. I read 78 books as of when I'm filming this video. Uh, I had the goal that I wanted to DNF more books. I didn't do so well with DNFing books. A lot of books I read, especially when this year started, were books that I needed to give like a strong chance before the book actually picked up, like at least 100 or 150 pages. And if I had DNF that book, I never would have gotten to the good parts of the book. But I did get better at DNF in series this year. I've read so many first books in the series, and I'm finally getting to the point where there's so many series I've started that I'm okay with just not continuing on after the first book. Some of them, like Shelley Parker Chan's She Who Became the Sun, I really liked the first book. I thought it was fantastic, but after reading it, I was like, that's enough of this story. I don't want to continue on in the series. Um, I'm satisfied with just the first book. And then there's like the Gilded Ones by Namina Forna, which I just didn't like at all. And so there's no point in me continuing on in the series that I didn't like the book. And then all the other series are like somewhere in between. I had the goal that I wanted to read more nonfiction. I only read three nonfiction this past year. That was Medical Apartheid by Harriet A. Washington, Invisible Woman by Carolyn Criado Perez, and Stiff by Mary Roach. I enjoyed the ones I read, but that's not a lot. That's not what I had in mind when I set that goal. I wanted to read more classic or older science fiction, and I kind of broadened that to just classic slash older books or books that are published before 1990. Um, and I wanted to read at least one a month, and I did 
achieve that. I actually read more than one a month in most cases. And I wanted to read more Animorphs. Uh, my goal in my video last year was to read 12, one each month. But I only read seven this year, so not quite there. And now on to my stats. Like I said, I read 78 books this year and my goal was 75 books. And there's only one book I DNF'd. Of those books, 6 were 2022 releases and 20 were classic slash older books. And 26 of the books I read this year I listened to as an audiobook. I gave an average rating of 4.21 stars. Breaking down my reads by genre, I read 49 science fiction, 17 fantasy, 2 contemporary, 3 nonfiction, and 4 historical fiction. And 24 of the books I read were a young adult or middle grade. The oldest book I read this past year was Carmilla by J. Sheridan Le Fanau, and that was published in 1872. And the newest book I read is actually a tie. Both of these books were released on April 12th, 2022. A Prayer for the Crown Chai by Becky Chambers and Hooked by A.C. Wise. The shortest book I read was Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka at 42 pages. And the longest book I read was The Actual Star by Monica Byrne at 624 pages. Now I'm gonna talk about my goals for next year. As far as my reading goal goes, I'm setting myself the challenge for 75 books again. I know this year I easily made that goal. When I set my reading goals, I usually try to look at how fast I'm reading and how much I'm reading, and I always want to set a goal that is like reasonably obtainable for myself, but also a bit of a challenge. So I'm not going to automatically say I'm going to read 100 books because I don't think that is doable for myself. And the reason why I'm choosing the same amount of books that I read this past year is because my schedule is gonna be so different next year. I'm gonna be working a different job and I don't really know how many books I'm gonna be able to read. So I think 75 is like that perfect balance between like, I can probably make it, but it's also gonna be a challenge. And I want to continue reading more classic slash older books. I really like the challenge I set for myself last year that is to read one book a month that's been published before 1990. And I also want to read more translated works. I kind of realized this year that I don't read a lot of books that aren't like either published in America or in England. And I'm really missing out on like a huge chunk of literature because of that. Um, I think I only read four translated books this past year, uh, so yeah, I want to do that more next year. And that's it for my reading goals. I don't have too many for myself next year. I'm not setting too much expectations for myself next year. Um, a couple of changes that are going to be coming to the channel. I'm doing away with the wrap-up videos, especially because I'm reading a lot more than I was when I first started this channel. Originally it was like I would talk about like four books a month and that's a really doable amount. Now it's like eight books a month I have to talk about and so the videos are just really long and a lot of work goes into them and I, I kind of dread doing them and if I don't want to do them then they're not going to turn out as good as I want them to be. I really want to keep quality on this channel. So yeah, those aren't going to exist next year. I also want to focus this channel again on science fiction. Um, and though I'm still going to be reading books that aren't science fiction in my free time, the only books I'm really going to talk about moving forward are going to be the sci-fi books I read. Um, and I'm also just going to choose like what books I have a lot of thoughts on versus talking about every single book I read. So let me know in the comments below what some of your goals are for next year. Remember to support your local library. Check out that Libby app that I mentioned earlier. Not sponsored, I just really like it. Um, and it's a great way to utilize your library and shop independent when you can. Until next time, please stay tuned.